a family or my close friends and stuff to the same level of abuse as well and being okay with it because people are lining my pockets with tips and stuff that's just not life that's not worth living to me I was trying his best but the, uh, the the trolls on the internet are just not letting him live man they're not letting him live and then in another episode of not letting someone live we're going to talk about my most favorite guy online the fav my, yeah my, my favorite locale a person that i'm just infinitely 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 have you say that word um interested with obsessed with and just kind of curious about how he lives his life is none other than dsp dsp dark side phil also known as phil brunel um he's obviously the number one the numero uno low current now now the other guy that's in prison or oh, the other guy should be going to jail for obviously that heinous crime that he did which we shouldn't mention here but phil brunel is the number one locale um he's the dude who effectively has turned streaming into a um begging session every day he kind of loads up his streams and has a target of 150 dollars that he needs to reach for each stream two times a day which is 300 dollars per day that he basically wants to get he's into he feels like entitled to get so he kind of begs for tips and he only wants tips don't bother sending him super chats don't bother subbing him just tips only tips are the only things that he needs because with the tips he can withdraw them straight away into his account and of course spend it on all the other frivolous shit that he spends on but the thing that's fascinating about this guy is that throughout the entire process of him being a stream online he's always feigned like um he's always feigned like uh financial distress right it's always something a tax guy this and that he went through obviously bankruptcy because he had so many credit cards and stuff because he was trying to launch his youtube career so he took out a mad amount of loans and you know stupid shit um that obviously he got himself involved in none of us none of our business online but he tried to make it everyone's business and then you know he just continued doing the same thing just feigning financial distress feigning that and for whatever reason people online he, got, he kind of gathered some sort of small fan base they kind of believed him they got wrapped up in it maybe again another another example of a parasocial relationship and they decided to do whatever they could to support him and make sure that he was kind of on his feet or to keep him on his feet and then and then came the other bits and bobs where he was like pretending or acting as if his house was going to get taken away from him he's going to be homeless so that was a big deal loads of really shady 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 stuff but in the end anyway people online especially on kiwi farms the main detractor place where people kind of hate phil brunel had always kind of stated or they always had the inkling of feeling that he it, nothing quite made sense it didn't quite add up like he was definitely lying about something he's spending or whatnot because i i always had surmised as well because you know he'd raised quite a lot of money i think you know at the time you know he was making anywhere between like 10 grand a month or something right again not watching anyone's pockets not our business but he makes our business by begging people online for stuff and pretending he's broke when he's not but there'll be moments where he'd be like you know making obscene amount of money you know per month not obscene but like a good amount of money it's obscene there's no such thing as obscene you make what you make um and people would always wonder like where does all that money go why are you always begging again like he'd make you know he'd get a big payment from youtube a big payment from twitch when you're still on there and then the very next day when that payment would drop he'd be back onto begging again now it would never ease up right there was never a time where it was kind of like okay we don't need to raise too much money now because i raised so much last week no, no no it's always like another day is another beg another beg another beg and i was wondering to myself like i wonder what would cause that right because the two things i could think of straight away would be gambling and drugs those are usually the two things that would kind of sap your money straight away. Um, you know, if you've got an addiction and of course on both, on either things, they're going to be a big um, money sink. But I couldn't put my finger on it. And then later on down the line, it came to people's attention that there was this game called WWE Champions that he plays. It's kind of like Candy Crush and you basically buy these cards and gems and you move them around. I don't know. It, it looks weird, right? It's a, it's, it's a gambling thing. It kind of, in order to get to the next level, you kind of have to buy this. You kind of have to buy that. You have to buy wrestlers, buy cards. It's, it's all online, all via the phone. And then he kept the nine that he had the count on there. Um, the people on Kiwi Farms proved that he had a count on there. He kept denying it again. They just stopped talking about it. And then eventually it got to a point recently, which is what we're getting at now, where somebody decided to impersonate him um, and they basically were able to get his account details, right? By impersonating him, they got his online banking stuff, his bank statements, got it sent via PDF and basically had a full breakdown of what exactly he spends his money on and it was quite revealing, right? So essentially, all his money, instead of it going to bills like he was saying it would, it all went to instead to like DoorDash orders, 
um, gin, really expensive alcohol he was buying in the area that he was from. And then, of course, WWE champions. I think there was one month specifically where he spent more on WWE champions, like more on that mobile game, right? Then he did on his mortgage, like crazy, right? Insane amounts, right? This comes out, obviously, and he just goes dark. He doesn't say nothing, obviously, because it's a, it's a crime thing. So I think he's obviously doing the sensible thing and not commenting on it in public. He probably got his legal counsel, got his counsel you know, locked again and reset his parcels, all that good stuff. But essentially, we've seen his records now, right? He's basically been exposed as a liar, right? Like a stone cold liar. You say you're broke. You say you don't have any money. You say you're on your last, you know, you're on your last leg. You're you're kind of rubbing pennies together when we can see you spend two hundred dollars a week, you know, on, on a weekly shop, which is insane considering there's just two people living in his home and a fucking cat, right? But you'd think, you know, once you get exposed at that, okay, hands up, my bad, you know what I mean? I can do better next time. Now nah, he just goes silent, ignores it, and just continues begging again, right? So this is a highlight reel um, from a guy called um, Aqua Teal, basically showing all of the instances where he basically says, "Tip, tip me, tip me" on his show, on his sorry, on his streams, and it's fucking mind blowing. So let's play this now. <laughs> Come on, bruv. My computer's been a bit slow. Bear with me. I strongly recommend you, you tip me. When you tip when me, you tip me, those are funds that I immediately get to put towards important things. If you guys like the content, if you could support it, some tips would be great. I've been playing for half an hour, so, so you know, please tip me if you like the content tonight. All right. So if you can't tip me tonight, the absolute best way to support the channel is by tipping me. Okay. When you tip me, I get those funds immediately, and when you tip me. That is the method of contribution by which the least transactional fee is applied. Please consider tipping me if you uh, want to support the channel in the strongest way possible today. You can tip me either by looking at the description of the stream or by typing exclamation point tip into the stream chat. Please, if you can, please tip me. This is the second night in a row where tips have been really slow and I need help with tips right now. So please tip me if you can. All right, guys, thank you. Tip me, tip me, please tip me today. If you can tip me today, please do. The best way for you to support my streams, quite frankly, is by tipping me. Tip me, tip, tip me, me, tip me, tip me, it's by tipping. Tip me, tip me, tip me, tip me, tip me, tip me, tip me. It has nothing to do with me. Jesus Christ. You're not Christ. trying to tip me directly. Tip me, though, tip me. So guys, again, we're so close to hitting the tip skull. I'd really appreciate it if you could tip me today if you'd like the stream. Tip me, tip me. Tip me, tip me. Curls for girls says he'll tip me $25 if I do... No, he says he'll do the rest of the tip skull if I do 25 push-ups. Uh, tip me if you like the content. Thank you. Tip me. Tip. And it's really gross, right? Don't get me wrong. It's incredibly gross. And I think there is something quite unnerving about seeing another man being on camera that is just begging for tips you know what i mean as a way to kind of feed their family it's just there's something gross about it there's nothing wrong with you um you don't have any you know really bad family situation financial situation life situation where you're basically at you know you basically at the point where there's nothing else that you can do but beg on the streets like you know some people do when they're homeless and whatnot he's a fairly you know healthy young man quote unquote young as well not really that young but he's able-bodied there's nothing wrong with him whatsoever he should be you know this, this this obviously shouldn't be what you're doing as like a way to kind of um maybe as a point of like maybe if it's an emergency and you've got you need some help again i could never imagine myself getting on stream and saying something like that but just imagine if you if there was real an emergency that you needed help on and you're like you know what i'm going to sort of go to my fan base and see if they can maybe help me out cool but it's like a super rare one-off thing, do you know what I mean? Because you basically had no other option and you were legitimately, you know, about to get thrown into prison or something because you didn't pay a parking ticket. Okay, whatever, cool. I understand that. But just on a daily basis, getting on stream and just begging people for money is just so gross. It really is, especially when you consider that it's not just tips that he's getting from money weekly or monthly or whatever. If you're a streamer like myself, you get paid by Google, right? So you get AdSense, so, so a Google AdSense account, which essentially is YouTube, which essentially is um, all those ads that get played on my videos and whatnot. 
they get monetized obviously as many views as you get they get monetized more and then the streamer or the creator gets obviously some monies into their accounts but that's like a fun that's like funds that you get like on a monthly basis i think it's staggered for every other month no i think it's staggered a month in delay or stuff like that so whatever i'd make last month you'd get next month and you know what i mean and and vice versa so it's not like he's not getting nothing he's still getting a base pay that comes in every month but for him that's not enough he still needs a daily um kind of thing that he can withdraw or like a weekly thing that he can withdraw and again he's so entitled to it that he wants like it to always be matched like he's typical which you can see in the top right corner there but i think as well i was thinking the other day like part of the reason why this is probably a little bit more bearable to do if you are a dsp is because you're online you're not in real life do you know what i mean because just streaming online it's probably a little bit easier to beg and to plead for people to give you tips because there's a little bit of a distance do you know what i mean you're not exactly in front of people it's probably more embarrassing to do that kind of stuff outside in front of people like having to look him in the eyes and say hey can you give me some money can you help me out can you you know put your hand in your pocket and give me your hard-earned cash why just because i need it do you know what i mean like that sort of thing i think that's way harder to do but yeah, it goes on for two minutes. It's him begging for tips. It's a fucking fascinating video. Check it out on your own accord if you want. Check it out on your own accord if you want. Let's move on from that one. Yeah, let's talk. Let's 